Good morning. You are welcome to the Health Guide. My name is Dr. Issa Abdumujib. We are still discussing occupational disease. Occupational disease. You have been working somewhere. What are you exposed to? So today we are looking at chemical exposure. Some of the diseases or some of the chemical people get exposed to, they eventually take a toll on their lives. In case you are working in any of such environment, I will mention a few of them. Please beware and run away from such company or be able, ensure you are able to get the preventive measure in working in such place. Number one, mercury. Mercury. You heard of it several times, mercury. Now, when our, our, our accountant counts money in the bank, the lightning they should use in counting the, the money is mercury because it has reflective energy to actually pick up any abnormality in a Naira note. So if you, are, if you are in that section for too long in a banking hall, beware, you're going to run into some challenges eventually of your life. Beyond that, the same mercury is found in cream. So many of our women today that engage in using cream, that mercury is made of it in order to make the bleaching very fast and make you look lighter. Beware, you're going to grow and develop skin cancer. I'm going to assure you of that. So, Mercury as a chemical, as an element, if you are exposed to it in the raw or the, the, the iron form of it, you are going to have challenges in future. In fact, let me tell you, if a young lady in reproductive age is exposed to mercury, that lady may suffer uh, the challenges of giving birth to abnormal babies. Abnormal babies, baby with, maybe with 10 fingers, maybe with only one eye, maybe with about, uh, about 10 toes. You want to have such babies because mercury is a very dangerous uh, element you can get exposed to. Number two, lead. Lead has been found to be in the pipe bone water. The water we take regularly and those that work with lead or those that even mine lead or those that make use of lead to do other work, you are working in such company, it's going to change your system. If you are a man, you end up giving birth to babies that are abnormal or it will even take over that you cannot even give birth to baby again. Number two, it's still on lead. It can actually affect your liver and destroy the liver and turn the liver to black liver. Your liver turns to black. That's what we call cereloplasmin, whereby your liver is unable to function effectively as if somebody born a charcoal and then sat inside your liver. So because you're exposed to lead. And this also affects our children. If, if That's why the pipe bomb we used to use before, the, those pipe, those iron pipe, you see them releasing into your, into your water and become yellow and you don't mind. You drink it like that. You're going to be exposed to, uh, to, to lead and that can affect your intestine as well until you begin to have abdominal cramps that you cannot even explain what is the cause. Or you do all the scanning, this is what they will not see because it's a chemical that have mixed with your intestine. Number three, that is very, very also dangerous is fluorine and chlorine. We want to use this medium, medium to beg for those that are actually producing water. We're not talking of those that are actually bottled natural water. Those that produce water, all the bottled water you see today, they are all, they are all produced water. And they must use chlorine or fluorine to actually purify them. And I can assure you, if it's on a high quantity, baby children will lose their teeth too early. Children will lose their teeth and become green or brown because of fluorine. And it damages their joints or their bone because of fluorine exposure. Again, pesticide. Now, I want to beg those that sell grains, beans, and coal, that you want to use pesticide to preserve it, to, to, to send away weevils. Or those that even sell pomo and all the air kundi, they use a lot of chemical pesticide to actually preserve them if you are exposed to such regularly you're going to be in, in in a lot of disease entity so you want to avoid this exposure in case you are working with that so that that doesn't affect your life or you are making use of it for other people to consume beware you're actually being a dangerous person in society so occupational disease can actually be on account of what you make use of or what you consume until we come your way again you can reach us on 0802 33 thank you for listening